when you're studying in Germany as a student, in almost all the cases, you won't be paying any tuition fees if you're enrolled in a public university. Your living expenses, on the other hand, is almost entirely covered by your blocked account, but you can earn some money on the side by getting a part-time job. You'll find yourself having a lot of free time between universities and studies, and many students take a part-time jobs or best case internships to gain some experience and some good money. In this video, we're going to discuss exactly that. How much can you earn in Germany from part-time jobs as a student? Before we start, let's iron out some key rules you need to follow as a working student in Germany. First, as a student, you can either work 120 full days or 240 half days depending on your job and your contract with the employer. Second, in a week, you can work for a maximum of 20 hours during ongoing semesters, while in semester breaks, you can work for 40 hours maximum. Third, the minimum wage in Germany has been increased to 12 euros per hour from 1st October of 2022. Before that, it was 10 euros and 45 cents per hour and the amount has been increased due to inflation. Fourth, there are two different types of jobs for students, mini jobs and part-time jobs. In mini jobs, you earn less having an income limit of 520 euros per month, but you have lesser working hours. Whereas in part-time jobs, you have 20 hours working weeks, but with higher pays. Now, before we dive into specific deductions, you need to understand one thing. If you are earning up to 450 euros per month as a student, you don't pay any tax. That means you get the entire 450 euros in hand with no deductions whatsoever. Above this, you have no income tax, but you have to pay the social contributions like pension insurance, unemployment insurance, etc. Okay, now let's discuss how much would you earn in your first year in Germany. During the first 12 months, it is highly unlikely that you will find time to work for the entire duration. You need time to settle down, complete your registration, manage your university schedule, possibly take a vacation to India and don't forget about exams. So all in all, hypothetically, you have seven months to work in a part-time job, excluding the rest five for other purposes. Let's you get a job as a cashier at the local supermarket. You're getting paid the minimum wage that is 12 euros per hour and by law, you're only allowed to work for 20 hours per week. That means your weekly salary would be 240 euros and in a month you'll earn around 960 euros. This is your gross salary. At this point, you are still not paying any income tax, but you have to start paying your social contributions, which come around 194 euros, as you can see here. That means at the end of the month, you'll get 765 euros in hand. This is your net monthly salary. So for seven months, your income, which you'll get in hand, would be 5,360 euros, which you would be earning in a minimum wage job as a student. Remember, this is on top of the blocked account amount, which you're getting every month, and it covers everything from your bills to your insurance. Part-time jobs are a really good way to earn quite a bit of money on the side as a student, and it is also a very good way to integrate into the German culture. This is also a very good way to save up money for your second year's blocked account amount, and there is a slight possibility that the Auslanders Bearder will see that you are consistent with your part-time job, and you can sustain yourself, and they might make an exception for you so that you don't need a blocked account for the second year. If you want to know more about the second year blocked account amount, we made a video on this, so you can check that in the description below. I'll also link the website down below where you can calculate your monthly taxes and deductions when you start earning as a student. The salary I mentioned above is for the minimum wage. That means for jobs like graphic designing, web designing, data science, etc., you'll find that they'll pay you up to 20 to 24 euros per hour and it really depends upon the job and how much you're getting paid at the end of the week. That's it for this video. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.